He reads! Surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of seal skin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. about this misadventure only the truth he attacked Jotbis fortress killed his men and weakened his control of this land will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a troll will that be part of your saga there's a skull who dares sing that verse it'll be his last song Ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? As he returned from his raids. My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. 
You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than... Sound! You need silver! Caught anything? Not today. I lack the patience for... Shooting fish with... Doesn't count. No, 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 no. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, bro. How do you know? You never went on a raid. Just shut up. Hello, Eivor. Well, look who it is. Bra ah, Eivor. You told me the out of right. How about a nut? Let's. I'm ready. Inflating its key to match. Cadence and run. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's you astounding, you're me. worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Noise. Keep your blade sharp, wolf kids. Welcome back, Gunner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? 
I can give it a better edge and reinforce the hammer. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. should do it. Anything else? Now are you gonna holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunil then? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. <laughs> that is all for now.
Vulcan? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Swala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of savor. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. A private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. May have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. When I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling and fierce, and then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak, with a single eye. He bid me follow him. I won. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Whatever happens, whatever I see, whatever you foretell, it must stay between us. We cannot change the fate we are bound to. What matter who knows and who does not? The outcome will be the same. It matters to me. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Javi! Javi! Oh, I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive?
was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Take it! It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's hall slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory. And you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground. 
No wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Thank you, Eivor. No, I have something for you. See? All in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer. I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Not <laughs> <laughs> Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tove says she's trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
good. Need anything else? See you later, Sven. Sure. sure. I do miss the rattling of love. Yes. Or let's do this then. I am pretty good.
Almost got you now. My game, stranger. Just give up. Too easy. How did what? No! <laughs> Again! Another time, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> 